Yo, this is Toastal News, and today we're talking about some rumours and some delays. Not long ago, we had some rumours about a Nintendo 64 Classic getting a new game, Diddy Kong Racing. Now, if this ends up being true, that would be sick, especially if they keep it like the first one and not have it similar to Mario Kart. The kind of openness that Diddy Kong and even the Crash Team Racing had was great. The way they had the main hub and then they had the different worlds branching off. But that's not what this video is about. Just make it happen, Nintendo. What's important is a different guy. Now this was when Rare was killing it, game after game. And at the end of the Nintendo 64 run, they bring up something fresh. Conquer. Now Conquer's about third day was sick. One thing that was great was that Nintendo just let Rare do what they wanted to do. I see you, I see little fella. You better get this fat ass bitch off from my back pronto. Now Conquer recently showed up at E3, getting everyone hyped, only to find out he's in Project Spark. Now whether that was Microsoft keeping the fans happy, or letting everyone know that they're working on something, no one knows. But then a few days ago, we get this. Now this could be seen as Phil just being a nice guy, kind of giving us what we want. But I believe in Phil, and I think the fact that he said Conquer Game Assets means that something's up. The question is, what? Is it going to be another remake or a completely new game? The remake, Live and Reloaded, ended up being a bit hit and miss, mainly because of the fact that the game had more censored stuff than the original. Don't know what that was about, but if they're going to do a remake, it has to be done right. However, if they do a new game, then there's the risk that the whole thing will be whack. They could do another remake, and then see how that goes with everyone, and then do the new game. Or we could just remake the whole game in Project Spot. Guess we'll have to make our own. Now some of you might not know that there was a sequel for Bad Fur Day that was written. But unfortunately, that never got released, or it got cancelled, or whatever. But if Microsoft could find a way to get that back, then that could work. One important piece for this to work is that they need Conquer himself, Chris Seaver. Without him, as part of the project, and obviously doing the voice, then I think this is going to be a tough sell. But like I said, I believe in Phil, and I think he can make it happen. Now if something was to happen at Gamescom, or even at E3 if Gamescom's too close, then that would be sick. Listen this, Microsoft Conference. Phil's out there doing his talk, he's hyping up a game. Chris Seaver comes out. It says Conquer Remake, out this year. New Conquer game out next year. Done. Next bit of news is about a couple of release dates changing. Shadow of Mordor is now moving ahead of week, which means September the 30th for the US and then October the 2nd or 3rd for Europe and UK. Now a few delays. Dragon Age Inquisition is coming out in November and Battlefield Hardline is coming out next year. Right, that's Toastal News. I'm out! Would you decide to break?